Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So we have a story from Scandalous, South Carolina. This story really hits home because I used to live in South Carolina before. Now this is taking place in Easley, South Carolina. And one thing I can tell you about Easley, it's a really, really small town where everybody knows everybody, okay? And so what went down is that we have a 17-year-old young man. His name is Kiwan Brown. And so he had got into it on social media with four other guys. And he went to go meet up with them to basically settle a dispute. But while he went there to go settle this dispute, one of the guys pulled out a gun and they, and they basically shot and killed Kiwan Brown at the age of 17. But why this is causing national outrage is the fact that when these four defendants went into the courtroom, instead of them being humble, instead of them being apologetic, they then demanded that people start following them on social media. One of the suspects is 19-year-old Dennis Gibbs. The other is 22-year-old Albert Taylor. And basically, they started shouting in the middle of the courtroom. They're like, you know, what are these cameras for? And when they found out they were going to be on the news, they were asking people to follow them on Snapchat and SoundCloud, on Instagram. I mean, the whole situation was just disgusting. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Hello, I'm Linda Stouffer. Family members of a murdered teen are outraged after his alleged killers used a court appearance to boost their social media. Four teens were arrested in the murder of a 17-year-old at a bowling alley in South Carolina. Now, when they faced a judge Thursday and saw the cameras, they asked for followers for Twitter and Snapchat. Yeah, I got a question. What are these cameras for? It's the news media. Now I got a question. Oh, the news media? What's up, y'all? Are you following me on Twitter? Uh, follow me on Instagram, Luca Brasher Jr. Snapchat. The victim's great grandfather just shook his head when he saw the video of the teenagers in court. He said the teen victim had gotten into trouble in the past but was a different person now and had a bright future ahead of him. The suspects were denied bond. Right, you guys just saw that disgusting news clip. On top of those two looking to face murder charges, there's also another young man. His name is Jamari Fair and he's 18. He's gonna be charged with murder as well. There's also a 15 year old young man who's involved but they haven't named him yet. But he's also looking at murder charges. I don't understand that these young men know the seriousness of what they're being charged with and the ramifications and them getting up there and trying to shout out their social media pages just goes to show you how desensitized a lot of these young people are. Now this is a man that's 22 years old who should definitely know better, but he definitely still has a mentality of a 14 year old kid. They're acting like they're at a rap concert and they're being interviewed by Vlad TV. No bitch, you guys are in the middle of a courtroom and you guys are not even being interviewed. The news is just there doing their job recording this court hearing. You guys decide to take it upon yourselves to start shouting out your Instagram page, your Twitter and everything else. This is just disgusting to me. It shows they have absolutely no remorse, no respect for this life that was taken. And I just find this just really really sad and disheartening you know it's just really sad and once again it's making this generation just look bad it makes them look brainless like they have absolutely no morals like they just been so desensitized by technology they don't know where social media ends and where reality begins you know this is insane to me you guys are accused of taking a young man's life and instead of coming to court you know somber and humble and at least pretending like you guys are sad for the victim you guys come in there boasting and acting all joyous like you guys are are headed to Myrtle Beach to go kick it. I mean, the whole situation to me was just insane watching that video. I just find the whole situation just really sad that some people don't know when to turn on social media and check back into the real world. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.